Nestled in a scenic valley in Virginia, Shenandoah University is carving its own path. It's kind of fun kind of going off trail. There's no trailblazers right now. Let's go. For a look at just what they're blazing, take a seat and a listen inside this classroom. Say you're Activision Blizzard. How are you? You're coming out with Overwatch 2. So like you can get more mushrooms with like toads than the carts. The revenue from all of those skins are being split. This is the language of eSports, a field now intersecting with higher education. This fall, Shenandoah University debuted its academic eSports program, one of the few in the world. How many of you have made a microtransaction in game? I know we've had this conversation in the past. Look at that. Christopher Scroggins is the main instructor. We're two people of maybe 10 in the country because a lot of academics don't have an eSports background. Joey Gariziak, a former competitive gamer himself, is the director of the eSports program. He says the major is not meant to teach students how to play video games. They're not here to compete, but they're here to just study gaming and eSports to work in the field. It's a field that's flourishing. New Zoo, a market research firm, says revenue from the global eSports market is expected to rise nearly 30 percent year to year. There's also big money for professional gamers, but few make it big. But Griziak says there are plenty of job opportunities behind the scenes, and that's where Shenandoah comes in. Whether it's working on the marketing side for an esports firm, an organization, community relations, directing social media, that's pretty big for esports organizations. There's the management side, learning how to financially be responsible for an organization, because these are professional organizations that have multi million dollar budgets. Students aren't just learning inside the classroom. Part of the program also involves this converted World War II armory. The 145 square meter facility on campus is designed to mimic a professional esports arena with a dozen gaming consoles and a capacity for 75 spectators. The arena serves as a place for Shenandoah's varsity esports players to practice and students to get hands on experience. So that our students can learn lessons in the classroom and then learn how to do things in like a living lab. They can go down and come in here and help run an event in here. They can work on sound systems and lighting to know how that impacts an event. There's like so much potential here and I'm so like I wanted to be a part of that. Caitlin Growlow is one of Shenandoah's 16 students pursuing an esports major. She hopes to work as a freelance journalist in the field. Esports, it's new, it's fresh, it's a huge industry that's continuing to grow. And I think it's worth pursuing because soon enough, like in the next like two to three years, there's going to be a huge demand for those type of jobs. Student Jason Anderson is striving to be a CEO someday. He says the stigma of esports is just people playing video games will eventually subside. I would definitely dealt with the, the judgment, but I've always been kind of guy that I don't really care. As long as I'm happy and I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I know it's new, it's different, it's outside the box. It's a little scary, it's a little risky. This is real and it's here and it's happening. Let's not fight it, let's embrace it and use it as an educational opportunity for our kids to get them a good college education, a good experience, to get them to a career that they're passionate about. Francis Coe, CGTN. Winchester, Virginia.